Hello, Kevin from Cobalt Glass Custom Works here. Uh, today we're going to fill up our 12 part mold. It is part number LF241 by Creative Paradise. And uh, we're going to um, give you kind of a rundown on how to prep the mold when you get them and then uh, kind of how to fill it and uh, then we'll get it in the kiln and uh, show you what they look like the next day. So the mold, they come in a box obviously they're from your supplier and uh, it's LF241, 12 heart mold, Creative Paradise. Um, what I've done is I've kind of wrote down their firing schedule suggestions from Creative Paradise website um, and also the fill weight for each of the each of the hearts. So what we need to do is we have to prep our mold when they come from the oops, when they come from the factory they're not treated and uh, <clears throat> so for this we will use zip boron nitride and there's two versions there's a non aerosol and there's an aerosol. Um, the non aerosol it can ship by mail um, the other ones usually have to ship because they're um, chemicals they have to ship through a different uh, supplier um, different uh, carriers I guess um, so this it settles out um, there's a little ball in the bottom so you have to shake this all up really really well and then you put the top into here and then you will spray light coats over top and this takes quite a bit longer to dry so then you just let it dry and then you give it another couple coats so you want to coat it in one direction and then turn the mold and then coat it this direction and then this direction and, just, and so on until you get all the way around and um, it's advised to shake the container as you're um, as you're applying so when you're done spray shake and spray and then with the non aerosol what I would suggest is uh, take this out, spray whatever is left in the the, uh, the nozzle head here, a uh, couple squirts in there, and then put it into a cup of water, and then squirt until this runs clean, and then store it like this. Don't store this inside of here, because um, then if this dries out, then you're going to have a tough time to uh, um, to spray for the next round. Always wear your gloves, a respirator and safety glasses whenever you're spraying or working with powdered glass it's it's always advised to wear a mask a respirator and goggles safety first um, so what I've got is I've got a scale here and we'll turn it on and I actually make usually make my own prick I've got some sifters so I break it all up and then I sift it into different grades um, for this I'm going to use the more coarse, like a mosaic, and uh, I like to add some clear to it because it gives it some more depth. So uh, to do that I will lift a little bit extra clear, um, but this I break up and sift it out. So that's already ready to go. So we're going to switch this to grams and we'll zero this out. So that's zeroed out. And now our fill weight should be 31 grams according to our box lid here. 31 grams, and that's for each heart. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put some in the cup. There's already some clear in here. So this one I won't add any extra clear to it. And this mold has been pre-sprayed. So we have 31 grams, oh, 32. A little bit here or there is not going to hurt, but depends how consistent you want to be. Um, and then when you put them into the molds, you want to be careful um, if you're, especially if you're using um, fine frit and stuff, if you get any around the outside, you just want to kind of lightly brush it in. If you brush too hard, you'll actually remove the zip coating. So you want to try and get that in there as easy as you can. And then just kind of try and even it out. And you want to kind of keep it away from the outside edge so it doesn't flow over. You want to try and 
kind of build it up in the center now. And especially when you're using the powders and the, the farm frit, you want to kind of create a little bit of a cavity around the edge. And then we'll just keep going. We'll just keep adding. These will kind of give us a little Mardi Gras look. We've got some transparent, some opal, and some fusers reserve. It's just more or less just cut ups. It's a good way to use them up. And if you wanted to add whatever it's endless what you can do you can add different colors you can add some decor glass if you want give it some more depth and this piece may be a little too big and you can use the finer frits you can use whatever you uh whatever you feel Bigger chunks of clear actually give it lots of depth. It's, it's pretty neat how it works. So if you wanted to add more clear, you can always just take the mosaic nippers and, and depending on what size you want them to be. and be really cautious. And the boron nitride will actually, it's a release agent. So it will create a non-stick surface in there. So when they, when you see in the morning, because these will be about 24 hours by the time they're in and cooled, um, you'll see we'll just be able to take this, turn it upside down and if it's sprayed properly, they should all just drop right out. And uh, you should get, I usually get about three or four firings before I have to respray them. And you will, at some point or another, have where they will, they will stick. So you have to kind of, without breaking the mold, you want to just kind of be cautious. Paint brushes work very well for this. Like you, like you say, the uh, keep that little bit of an edge around there. 
and then when it melts it'll kind of melt out and it shouldn't overflow. Sometimes you have to zero that out again. There you have, these are ready to go into the kiln. And we'll put these in for a full fire. Um, every kiln is different. If you'd like to know my firing schedule, um, I can post it. I use a Conart E3K115G glass kiln, and it's a square kiln. Um, it's not super big, but it works very well. And uh, that's what we'll be firing it in. So what we'll do is we'll get this set in the kiln. I'll take a picture of uh, what it looks like before the firing and then we'll show you a picture in the morning and then we'll do a, a quick reveal on turning them out. Thank you for watching and we will see you tomorrow. Okay, here's our uh, kiln that's loaded up with the hearts, the paws. Um, I put all my molds on the top of a piece of 1 8 fiber paper there just to get a little airflow underneath them. Um, we're going to set this for a full fuse and it will go for approximately 12 hours. And then by tomorrow morning it'll be done and then we can do the, uh, the reveal, take them out of the molds and uh, show you what everything looks like. Good morning, here we are the next day. We have our 12 heart mold out of the kiln. Uh, it's uh, cooled down enough that we could take it out. These stay warm for quite a while. I noticed that one of the hearts here actually has um, some of the lid fell in. The kiln lid fell into that. So we'll have to probably either sandblast it out or we'll chop it up and use it somewhere else. But what I do is I'll put a piece of cardboard or something over top and then we'll flip it over and they should all fall out. And then that way we don't scratch the mold. So whatever side is down is gonna be the bottom. So that side is a little bit rougher. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And then the top side is nice and polished. And then there's some, there's lots of different colors in there. Some with the clear, it looks like it's everything's kind of floating inside there. It's kind of neat, like little pieces of toy or something. And I use a mix of um, <coughs> pardon me, vinegar, vinegar, water, and alcohol. And then I just uh, will spritz the rag and uh, we'll just wash them up. And then uh, we'll show you after a project that we'll do with them. We're going to turn these into uh, plant steaks. There we go. We'll just wash these up. And uh, the reason we flip these over is you don't want to dig them out of there because there's a good chance it will scratch the scratch the coating off there, the zip coating, and uh, then you'll be having to respray it. Um, this way, at least if we tip them over and they fall out nice, then we should be good to mold that up and refire it a couple more times. But this is the one here where the lid piece of the lid fell inside there. It looks like it fell in fairly early because it sunk in and another piece floated over top of it. Anyways, we'll carry on. We'll get these cleaned up 
and then uh, yeah we'll come back and show you what we're going to do with them thanks for watching please like and subscribe leave some comments in the comments section there and uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see please let us know thanks a lot have a great day